Eight generations ago, both you and I had 256 great-great-great-great-great-great-grandparents. Wait, you're saying that if you go back eight generations, uh -huh. we have 256 great-great-great-grandparents? Yes, it doubles every generation. So you've got two parents, you have four grandparents, you have eight great-grandparents, <laughs> 16 great-great-grandparents, and it adds up fast. It adds up so fast, in fact, that if you go back 20 generations, you've got over a million grandparents. 1,048,576, to be exact. And in each generation, DNA testing can provide information about only two of them. So you could be Peruvian on your mother's 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 side, Japanese on your father's 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 <laughs> side, Swedish on everything else. <laughs> and you'll and, never know. And you'll never know the Swedish yeah. mitochondrial DNA. Now, you've looked at several of these companies that are doing these tests. Yes. Do you think that they explain what you just explained to us? No. Uh, I don't think any of them does as good a job of pointing out the limitations. But, you know, businesses often don't go around telling you how weak their product is.